The company is working under a clear vision of being smart service provider of choice by understanding the needs of our respected clients and exceed their expectations through continuous improvement, quality and sustainability. Whilst we have this uh, vision within ENFM, within Emirates National Facilities Management, we do have uh, mission statements, which says that we enable our clients to focus on their core business whilst we manage for them the non-core activities in the background. And looking at the vision as well as the mission statement, we have strategized the company based on the data that we do have as well as the technology. Accordingly, we have uh, driven our strategy with the functional objectives that we do have, that we have cascaded to the functionals that we do have within Emirates National Facilities Management. Accordingly, uh, we have set our financial, uh, operational, uh, process and culture objectives. And uh, considering the five years business plan that we do have for Emirates National Facilities Management, Looking at the year, we could say and share with you that we have been successfully awarded contracts worth of around 30 million. Okay, and we were able uh, with a glad to add to our portfolio eight new clients, such as uh, Emirates Health Services, uh, Etihad Serve Energy Services, as well as Sharjah Oil National Company and we are proud that we were able to mobilize all these projects successfully and on top of that we were able to train around 750 uh, people within ENFM considering the site training. This is one of the objectives that we have achieved meanwhile. Looking at the services that we avail with, uh, within ENFM, we had to provide the services to our B2B customers over a decade. The company was established in 2012, but meanwhile we are proud to say that we just yesterday launched the B2C as, as a part of the diversification within MS National Facilities Management. Uh, looking at the increased demand from customers, and we believe launching B2C aside with the B2B will uh, position our company name in a better, uh, in a better way. And the company is able to adapt changes quickly and we do have high level of resilience. We passed the pandemic uh, in, in, in a very uh, uh, dynamic way, with, you know, in a very a smooth way. We were able to achieve all the objectives, the targets, the financial, operational, and due to the resilience that we do have. We are a company delivers, that delivers the services based on the technology that we do have. We, we are proud to say that we have state of art uh, technology. And through this screen that we do have in my left hand side, we can track all the functional objectives for the functions that operates within Emirates National Facilities Management. For example, for the sales, we do have this screen that presents to the executive management uh, what is the sales target, what we have achieved as, as of today, as on time, and what we have in our pipelines, and what is the status of our self-mobilizing for the project. For the procurement, we can track the accommodations and the transportation. And we do have all the information that are in relation to, to HR also. What is the total number of work, work, workforce what we, we have within ENFM? We can track the attendance. The main struggles we could say that the yield and the rental uh, in, in the real estate market is, is affecting the facilities management companies. So customers tend to always optimize the course of facilities management services. This is leading to have short-term contracts and accordingly to, to affect the pay scale of the people who are working in the FM industry. And we could say on the other hand there is uh, increased 
focus on, on the green building practices. And this is opportunity for the FM companies to go and, and, and have a chance to, to expand and flourish their businesses. And uh, looking at, at the government with the new AE, there is also uh, increased demand for uh, uh, building smart cities. Okay, and uh, looking at the direct uh, direct directives that is available within the country, that uh, the government is intending to have around two thousand one thousand government services to be digitized, and to establish around two thousand Wi-Fi hotspots across the UAE. And this is an indication now for us as an FM companies to go along with this development and growth and start digitizing ourselves after being automated. And we believe that uh, UAE market deserves such service from your reputed and uh, respected companies that has clear visions uh, of uh, considering the quality, sustainability, and consider continuous improvement. Also, what we could say also, we do have a competitive edge in implementing the B2C. We do have our own app for Android and as well as the Apple that have been launched in the market, which is called PNF uh, Home Services, where everyone could sit uh, at home as an end user and apply for whatever service he is in need of and we could schedule this and come to you, visit you, and you could pay also online without you moving anything.